Mick can do for you, contract agreed, that how pleased you are they're all sorted. Yeah, really happy to get it over the line. The, the decision was pretty easy, you know, for the last few years. I've really enjoyed through the process that we have gone through with a few lads leaving, but then a lot of lads, a lot of young lads coming through. We, we've signed a lot of great players. I've really enjoyed being part of this building, you know, building process. I've been here since I was a junior, so um, I've really enjoyed my time here. I'm really, really excited what the next four years are going to bring. And a long-term contract here. You really cement your place in, in the side now. Uh, that must give you confidence going forwards. Yeah, I mean, I'm. You know, I've got. Uh, there's, there's. We've got great players in the middle that I'm fortunate to play with. You know, uh, every week that also helps me to develop my game, and that will probably another. Uh, you know, factor that made the decision quite easy for me because um, playing. You know, with with the lads I have been at least for the last few years, it helped me to develop my game massively. And it had a very uh, positive impact on me. So that was kind of a big factor too in making that decision. I love playing with, with the lads in our team and we've got a great bunch of, of, of lads and players. It's, it's a great place to be on the field as well as off the field. Four years, it's uh, can't wait. An important decision for, for you and young family as well. You know, when you think about your future to to have that, that, that certainty about what's, what you're going to do going forward? Yeah, I think that's another thing. You know, we, we, love, we love living here around Leeds. It's a great city, uh, a great club, uh, a family-friendly club. And, you know, my little one loves everything about, uh, about Leeds. You know, the, the stadium, she loves coming here, uh, she loves Ronnie. Uh, so, yeah, it's, uh, that, that was kind of another, you know, fact to make the decision because uh, I can't, you know, I can't be selfish, so it kind of has to be um, a decision that, you know, um, that um, we make together, you know, so, uh, but yeah, everyone, you know, I'm, I'm really happy um, at Leeds. I have been since I was a junior and uh, yeah, my family loves it. So um, <laughs> yeah, that made the decision easier too. You had to weigh up the, the thought of telling Luna that she couldn't see Ronnie Rhino every, every week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even ask. Uh, I didn't want to know the answer to that one. Uh, no, yeah, she's. Uh, I think that would break her heart. She couldn't see Ronnie on a weekend. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was um, an easy decision. And it's shaping up to be a, a, a fantastic year in 2022 as well to have all this sorted now so you can focus on your rugby. Obviously, Rhino's wanting to, to get back to the finals. And then at the end of the year, the, the Home World Cup. Yeah, I mean, you know, um, two years ago we finished, I think, sixth. A year ago we finished fifth, so we keep climbing. And, uh, you know, this year is massive for us. We've got a great team going forward. Um, we've signed some great players and, uh, you know, everyone's hungry for, for success and uh, everyone gives 110% in training. You know, you can, you can tell. Um, everyone really wants to get, you know, get back to the top and win some trophies. So um, it's going to be an exciting year, and also, you know, World Cup at the end of the year, a lot of players will want to, you know, impress and you know, put put their foot down. So um, it's an exciting. We've got an exciting year ahead, and um, yeah, it should be a, a very good competition going forward. In terms of your own development to this stage, you're an England international now. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Uh, and you, uh, <laughs> you build, build it forward. The journey you've been on, when you, when you reflect on, on where you were just a few years ago, uh, <coughs> must be fantastic to, to have real pride in, in what you've managed to achieve so far. Yeah, I, you know what? I um, quite often I sit back and I try to um, I try to reflect on you know last few years and kind of um, how you know everything progresses and and uh, sometimes I you know um, I struggle to kind of <laughs> believe that everything's happened so quick and uh, but you know I'm really grateful for for everyone that's been part of it and you know for the full uh, journey I've had and the, the whole process uh, you know there's been some ups and downs but um, I guess everything you learn from you learn from everything that kind of happens and uh, yeah, it's um, it's like you said, it's a massive year this year to go that one step further and um, really, you know, uh, achieve achieve something massive.